Hey friends, uh, today we're going to talk about one room here at the Quack House, my house, um, and it is my guest room, the guest bedroom here, and um, it's quite an interesting room. When I bought this house, um, it was kind of a scary little room. It had previously been a little girl's room, and her name was still like etched in the wall, Elara, which is a horrible name, although it is the name of a Hilton property in Las Vegas. Uh, but other than that, um, it, it, so this room was kind of scary. Um, it had terrible carpet and this aqua kind of um, paint job. And um, you could tell that dogs had been there as well. There was like um, the smell of dog in the carpets and everything. And actually on the very first day that I got the keys to this house, um, people were saying, oh, you shouldn't um, sleep in the house on the first night. <laughs> but I did anyway, because it was my house. and. It was a very liberating feeling to um, stay overnight in your own very own house on the very first day that you take ownership of it. So um, I remember I actually stayed in that room that night. I, I had barely any furniture in the house. I just had one bed really and, and it was in that room in the guest room. I remember I was terrified. I had no security system, you know, no cameras set up like I do now. Um, that night, I think there may have been a bug in the house and um, I was hearing strange noises um, throughout the house and, you know, I could, everything, I, I could still smell dog in the carpet and it, it was a hard night. Um, uh, but I survived that night and I said that from now on, I was going to um, make this room something special and something nice. So I moved out of that room and made myself a, a, a bedroom elsewhere, but that room uh, became the guest room. So I did a real overhaul of it, but um, you know, I don't like to pay for it very much. So, so I kept it under a very uh, small budget, as small as I could. And also I wanted a room, I wanted it to be a room that was um, comfortable and luxurious for any guests who come over to the, uh, the Quack House. Remember, I travel the world a lot and I'm always staying in, you know, luxury hotels and things like that. Um, and of course I do it with my credit card churning and that sort of thing and miles and points games. So um, I'm used to five-star service uh, and I wanted anyone who's a guest at the Duck uh, staying here to also get that same, um, you know, five-star service that I'm used to. And so um, I'm, I wanted to make this room something really special. So today I'm gonna talk to you about how to make a really nice guest room um, in an affordable way. So um, without any further ado, let's go look at the room and let's talk about it. So won't you join me? All right, so here it is. Here's the um, guest room here at the Quack House. Ah, beautiful. Okay, so as you can see, it's been completely redone and um, it's now in a, you know, a guest room. So what do we have here? Um, we can sort of start from the, from the top, really. Um, here we have a nice, tasteful um, sort of piece of art. It's got a candle to sort of make um, the guest feel calm and um, like this is a resort almost. This is a plant, it's um, not real, but it, it sort of gives the room a little flair. And here I have a, a poster of, that's Half Moon Bay in the San Francisco area. I go there a lot, I stay there um, with my, I get a lot of um, points from my uh, J.P. Morgan Chase Ritz-Carlton card. So I like to stay at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel in Half Moon Bay. And um, it's just beautiful over there. And so I've got this portrait of it to remind me of, you know, luxury resort living. I put these um, very inexpensive uh, 
curtains. I got them from um, Walmart. And, um, you know, just a little curtain rod. But they, that hadn't been here before. And um, here we've got a diffuser, you know, to make the room not, not smell like dog anymore. Make it smell clean. Little thing from Paris here. Very luxurious. Got these two lamps. They're the the tap ones. I think they're. At, I think I got them from Target or something. Um, and a little, um, you know, plastic flower, but it, it still looks nice. Yeah. And that's the same on this side too. And here's the bed. Um, it was an inexpensive bed, relatively. And. Um, yeah, got this headboard separately. Got it on Amazon. It wasn't too expensive. And this, um, the Ritz Carlton dining room menu. I don't know how that ended up here, <laughs> but it did. Um, you know, some. Uh, this thing was got this at Walmart. I think you can still see the little thing. Just just some towels. You know, um, if they. Um, if any guests are using the guest bathroom, there's some towels there and, um, a little teddy. I don't know. I think that came, someone gave it to me in a Valentine's thing or something. And so, um, you know, what am I going to do with a little teddy bear like that? So I put that here in this room, you know, um, they tend, you know, guest rooms tend to usually have a bunch of pillows. So there's some pillows there. And um, put a nice rug in here. Got this one on Amazon too. It wasn't too expensive. I think it was 80 bucks, but it really pulls the room together. And of course I got rid of all the carpet and installed this, um, you know, wood laminate flooring, um, completely painted, repainted the walls and um, put this divider in there too, to really, um, you know, give it a little more um, nuance. Uh, but I really wanted it, you know, painted. So it, it's all white, but um, it has a very clean and very um, fresh palette look to it. Over here, I've got a, um, a little box and it has some, um, you know, just some incidentals. Uh, for any guest that wants to use the um, guest restroom, you know, just this reminds one of Texas, you know, you always want to keep that when you have guests over something that's, you know, from here, but it, um, it's, it's still, you know, something nice, um, you know, and I, I stay in all these hotels, so I get all these little things and uh, rather than throw them away, I save them for the guest bedroom. I think that's a good use of those sorts of things. A few other things in here too. And um, since we are in Texas, just little things that remind one that they're in Texas. Um, I must have gotten this somewhere at some hotel. I got this on United Airlines, you know, so all those little things you get, you can just um, put them in the guest room. And here, um, this, I put this thing here, but it's a little off kilter. <laughs> it wasn't um, exactly perfect, but this room isn't, doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, it's not my room, it's the guest room. So um, yeah, we've got here a very nice, um, again, uh, relaxing kind of portrait. They have a TV here. Um, it's one of those frame TVs, but it also can, can um, you know, play HBO or whatever they want to see. Oh, I got this at the Escape Lounge from Amex. You know, sometimes um, your guests may want to have a notepad, you know, and, and, and keep a pen. Which, which, which hotel did I get this from? MGM Grand, Las Vegas. <laughs> you know, so. And then there's some books here, too, in case they, they want to read. We've got um, Half Moon Bay, a novel. And <laughs> I thought that would be fun. Yeah. Some lights back here as well, um, little flickering lights. I should probably, they're kind of a fire hazard, so I should probably get rid of that um, lace thing, and I will. 
But um, I still like the way those lights look. And uh, here's a, a little collection of rocks, one that says Half Moon Bay. I just love that place, Half Moon Bay. And um, then there's this like um, poof thing. I don't know. So something that you can, um, that, that guests can put storage in or just, um, you know, a place to sit if they're going to use this as a vanity or whatever they need or a desk or of some kind. Um, but yeah, that's how I decided um, to make this room. And I think it, I think it looks, it looks really great. And in the closet here, I have a few things like this bag from Park Hyatt, New York. Um, of course, there's a, there's a, a terry cloth robe from the Hyatt Regency <laughs> in San Antonio. Um, so yeah, there's, <laughs> there's lots of stuff that I get from hotels and whatnot, but, um, that's the whole point of this room to make it feel like it's a, like it's a hotel, like it's a, it's a relaxing, luxurious place to stay when you're visiting the duck at the quack house. <laughs> and I like to surprise um, friends when they visit with um, breakfast. You know, you can have breakfast in bed. And so um, I bring it on this little cart here. It's a little loud, but um, it looks really nice when you can, you know, have, have a, an egg and some coffee and really relax here in this um, luxurious oasis um, uh, resort far away from the troubles of normal life. So, um, yeah, I really like the way it, it, it all came out. So I hope you found this video informative and maybe it could even inspire you to have a, to do a similar thing. Um, as you can see, even a small little room that was kind of scary can um, end up being a really nice, luxurious um, guest room. And um, it wouldn't even have to cost that much. Just a little paint and um, a few little items that you probably can pick up for free from different hotels. And, um, you know, a nice picture here and there can really transform a space. So um, if you have any questions, uh, put it in the comments. And thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you at the next one. Bye.